just, I, I, don't, I think he's got a red pad he's drawing stars on over there. Sparkle Express Car Wash, providing some of these gift certificates as well as, Ken, who do you have? Got the Godfather's Pizza five dollar gift certificates here too, so I want to thank all those folks. Coburn Superstore, ten dollar gift certificates, some of the folks that are helping us out with these. Any red more Red numbers. Stars, anybody? Red Stars on page 21. Keep your programs handy, folks. We've got to call lucky numbers here in a little bit, too, and we'll be giving away a lot more prizes tonight. Absolutely. Hang on to those, because we do have a lot more to give away. All right, folks. You know, the perfect attendance drawing for the $2,000 chassis or parts by Dirt Track Supply and Dakota Promotions. Some of the past winners, for those of you that may not be aware, 1999 Marlin winners winning at the $2,000 chassis or parts. Joel Singleman in 2000, and Lauren Johnson, it was, uh, in, he won it in 2001, 2002, Dave Brooker, 2003, Greg Fabra, 2004, Ross Dixon, and in 2005, Lynn Nilsson. Those are some of the past winners, and tonight we will uh, draw for another winner. Yeah, we'll get a little for that a little later on. We've got all the uh, trophies and everything to give away. Kind of curious for some of you folks, I'm sure, to see who the Rookie of the Years are and the Hard Lux, etc., etc. A lot of people to thank, as mentioned, Ron Ravelette from the Print Shop and Payday for the placemats. These placemats that are on the tables. They did a really good job with them. I've heard a lot of people comment how nice they are. So we thank Ron. Earl Norby from Pepsi donating the pop for the banquet. We thank Pepsi and Earl. I have a special thanks for Bill Chase. Bill, you provided some uh, pheasant hunting land, and uh, Bill and your family, we thank you very much. Yes. Big round of applause for all of them. Ron Ravelet, Bill Marty, and Bill Chase. There's a few of you that couldn't find pheasants around here, we know where they are. Plus, we left a plenty of seed stock for next year. <laughs> thank you very much. That wasn't me. It was you missing. <laughs> All right, folks, I also want to thank South Dakota Lottery. Everybody, uh, not everybody, but a few folks get the lottery tickets and so on. We mentioned that with the Lions Club and their 50-50 tickets. If you've got a couple of winners, maybe, you know, six bucks, 50 bucks, whatever, you want to trade them in, they've uh, got some specials going, the Lions Club does, for their 50-50 tickets. And again, at last count, it was up over $600 already. So somebody going to take half of that money home. Yeah, let's do some stuff. We got a Hoosier Racing uh, shirt that's donated by Dakota State Fair Speedway. This is a nice one. Okay, number 13840. 13840. It's the number on your program. Come on up. Check your programs. 13840. Please hurry up if you've got it. There we go. There you go, I trust you. You've got an honest face. Number 13944. 13944, we'll give a uh, t-shirt donated by Jackie Hawk Teaser. 13944. How about 13750? 13750. The U.S. flag. Flying problem. Who's that donated by? I'm oh, sorry, go to State Fair Speedway. Wow, what a neat, neat uh, door prize. An American flag for you to take home? Oh, shy. Come look at me. You gotta buy your own flight pole, but there it is. You know what this is? Probably not. <laughs> You notice, folks, there's a bit of a theme, and it's going to be picking on me all the time tonight. This is from the Huron Chamber of Commerce. Obviously, a uh, stuffed pheasant. Took that long to run stuck in the fence line, right? <laughs> 13869. 
Oh, here, I'll handle this one. I was going to say, I, you, don't wanna, you don't wanna trust me with that. <laughs> one, three, eight, one, two. One, three, eight, one, two. Hey, anybody with number one, three, eight, one, two? Yeah, we're on. No, we're on. no we're, we're, here we go. For some of you folks that uh, didn't get a chance to, to come up to the table and look at some of these prizes, T-shirts from different drivers like the Jeremy North T-shirt. Uh, Jeremy North, yep. And uh, we've got a fire extinguisher that is Schilling, I believe, provided that. We've got interstate batteries provided by Interstate, of course. A couple of uh, Kenny Schrader diecasts that are actually signed. So some really neat prizes. Got a bottle cap uh, wrapped here by Elwine Brothers and North Dakota State Fair Speedway and and uh, L Wines again. We've got Signature Plus. Wait, let's do one of these. These are so cool. You didn't get a chance to see these this year. This is what we gave to our junior fan club. Did you try? Those are heavy too. Those are die casts. They are nice. Signature Plus from downtown here did that for us. And the hood comes off. You can actually see the motor and everything. Those are really cool. And they're heavy die casts, like I said. Um, 14,000, number 14,000, Signature Plus die cast, embroidery and screen printing. Oh boy. Be careful. Get that one to your dad. Maybe you can handle that one or something. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to. Yeah. Especially it's realistic, real. right? Replace motors. All right, number 13972. 13972. Do anyone travel center got a cap? One three nine seven two. Here we go. One three nine three seven. Got another Dakota State Fair Speedway. There you go. All right, plenty of things to give away yet tonight. Got a lot of uh, a lot of prizes to give away. I want to remind you guys too. You've got uh, these bracelets on. Don't take them off. Got to have those uh, kept on throughout the night for the dance. Otherwise, we're going to end up having to get charged again. Bob and the Beachcombers. They get underway about 8:30 here tonight. Okay, still got a lot of prizes. We'll be giving away a bunch more of them here in just a little bit too. Want to give away some uh, some of the awards? Yeah, absolutely. We got, yeah. we got a couple specialty awards down here. Maybe we can do them. Huh? <laughs> By the way, did you uh, you been out to the racetrack last uh, week or so? Um, no, not the last week. I guess I haven't. They have been doing a lot of work out there. Found uh, in particular over in turns one and two. Yeah, and there's some safety issues there too that that needed to be addressed with the. You know, the wall and everything. I mean, that is a, is a problem with cars, you know, and we don't want to get them rolling over and everything. And so, so they definitely built that up a little bit and, uh, and replaced some stuff. They've got to build up quite a bit. They went up, they got th that thing up, uh, Jay, about four guardrail, four uh, layers high. I mean, it's, it's, it's a damn high. I don't think I would can get over it. <laughs> it's like way up here. But anyway, it is a safety issue, and it gets to be an expensive issue, too, is uh, uh, those fences need to be repaired, the wooden fences. And we've got a special award right now. Kevin, come on up. I want Where are you at? We joke. We jest. But in, in reality, it is come a safety here. issue. But we, we have an award for Kevin I won. This is the Fly It High Award, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this award has got an actual piece on the wall on it that we well, actually we cleaned the brown stuff off that Kevin left on his way by. <laughs> so it's a nice plaque. Congratulations. I'm great. We picked on him, but uh, we're just glad he was saved. He took a couple of pretty hairy rides this year. That is true. It's a green treated timber for Kevin to take home. I think Orville was debating about sending him a bill maybe for the fixing the fence, but uh, we also had Michael Wirtz. He, uh, he had gone through the fence or out that way, but he only went through once, so we didn't we didn't get him an award. And of course, folks, uh, you know, 
Running a track, there's so much, so much that goes on. It really does, and a lot of it's uh, maybe people don't realize, of course. But one of the biggest things is Mother Nature. I mean, it rains, it's cold, it's hot, whatever. The track conditions are going to change, etc., etc. And it leaves people to scrambling to try to try to you know, remedy the cause or remedy, you know, get get the show on the road, basically. And of course, a couple of different times this year, we had a lot of rain. And uh, well, we cars to go out there and pack track. One guy in particular went above and beyond on a very soupy race track and put on a lot of laps to help us get that track into racing condition and get back out there. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Dennis Lord. So Dennis, would you please come up and let's give Dennis a standing ovation. This is a Battleboy Award. Again, this isn't a joke. I mean, Dennis went out and, and uh, really put some time in, and we really appreciate it because it, 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 it helped get things moving that much quicker. Just the fact that he showed the initiative and, the, and I guess the dedication to get back out there when we were asking for drivers to, to go out and pack track. So we really appreciate that, Dennis Lord. It's funny, I passed Dennis earlier, and I'm going, he says hi to me, and I'm going, Geez, I think I recognize him. No glasses, nothing. I'm all you guys are all cleaned up. I didn't know who half of them were. No grease on them or anything. Dennis cleans up pretty good. Is that what you're saying? That's basically what I'm saying. A lot of them, I'm surprised. They don't have race, dirty race shirts on. You want to give away some more stuff? Always love giving away free Come on, stuff. let's do some South Dakota lottery tickets. We've got some extra ones here. So the next bunch of numbers for South Dakota lottery. Come on out. Yeah, there you go. We can we get these. Lions Club. How about 13825? 13825. <laughs> And 13633. 13633. Anybody on 13633? Yeah. You don't know about it. Alright, how about 13992? 13992. Okay, how about uh, 13977? 7. 13977. Seven. Seven. Okay, how about number 13745? 13745. the obvious. All right, we're going to start things out with a hard look. Kind of goes without saying, some of these guys put a lot of time, a lot of money into their cars just, just to have everything seem to go wrong. Maybe a, an accident that wasn't their fault or whatever the case, motors blowing up. Uh, let's see, a hard luck for the limited street stock is Josh Morse. A round of applause for Josh. They also get some lottery tickets from South Dakota Lottery. Josh isn't here. <laughs> I'm sure there's more than a few people that would take his lottery tickets. All right, another hard luck for the street stock, Ryan Yost. Ryan, come on up. <laughs> South Dakota Lottery tickets as well. They have some hardware to take home. Yet sometimes some of these drivers are going to be the best, best trophies or uh, best awards I guess they're going to get all year because of some things that are out of their control in many cases. But uh, nonetheless, they're back out there working hard and trying to trying to get back on the track. So we appreciate it, and that is the reasoning, of course, for the hard luck. We've got a couple more. And for the modified division, I had to went through motor after motor after motor. From Brookings, Chris Brucemann. Big round of applause for Chris.
Maybe one of these lottery tickets will buy you a new motor, Chris. <laughs> but so does Superstock, Quentin Myers. Jeff's going to take that one to Quentin for him. Moving along to the Soda Lake models. Kevin I want it. Come on up. <laughs> Those are your hard luck for 2006. A big round of applause again for all of them. Riders put a lot of time, a lot of money in their cars. Not always to have things work out the way they want. Moving along to Rookie of the Year for the limited street stock, Andrew Lair. Come on up. I don't know for sure if Andrew's here. There he is. The 2006 Rookie of the Year for the Wasota Street Stocks, Matt Rannick. <laughs> Not too shabby for only racing half a season, huh, Matt? <laughs> Wasota Modified, Chad Becker, Rookie of the Year 2006. Chad knows strength for the race cars, but uh, that open wheel thing, a little different, but boy, it did not take long for him to figure it out. For the Wisconsin Superstock, Dan Nyberg. Surprise to many folks, David McDonald. Come on up. <laughs> David doing a heck of a job with that late model. First year out, it was really easy to forget that watching him drive. It was, it was on a bit of a tear. 2006, Rookie of the Year for the late model. Big round of applause for all of our Rookies of the Year for 2006. What do you say, folks? Lots more prizes to give away. This is for a die cast. The box signed by Kenny Schrader. <laughs> Number 13633. 13633. Well, we'll find another number. Uh, they give this was donated by Dakota State Fair Speedway. It is, it is, I don't know, maybe. Do you have the right number you can? <laughs> Gonna write one down, huh? Anyway, folks, signed by Kenny Schrader, really neat collectible here. And we'll draw another number. 13977. 13977. How about number 13745? 13745. Elwine Brothers donating this, and I believe it is a beer stein holiday motif. And a Jeremy North Racing shirt, courtesy, of course, of Jeremy North. 13816. Number 13816. Couples is doggy style. That's where the husband sits up in bed and the wife turns over and plays dead. <laughs> I learned that, I really did. 
You know, I, I didn't learn that, but I did uh, hear a guy talking in the hall just a little bit ago here. He was talking to one of his buddies. He says, I think, I think my wife's dead, but I'm not sure. I mean, well, how can you not be sure? He goes, well, I don't know. The sex is the same, but the, the, dishes are, or the dishes are all piled up in the sink. So. <laughs> 13970 13911 Believe me, pull a hair from your butt and see if it doesn't bring a tear to your eye.
oh, oh, I had to go to the bathroom so bad. I, I grabbed out my guts and everything, but by the grace of God, and these two fingers, I got them all right back up in there. <laughs> <laughs> a birthday boy down here in front, you know, he's not much help around the house, I understand. But he does occasionally try to help. Just like the other day, he decided he was going to go down and do a little laundry. Went down in the basement, crank up the laundry. He said, Gene. He shouted up, gee, he says, what setting do I have to put this washing machine on? She says, well, what's it say on the sweater? He says, Dakota State Fair Speedway. <laughs> They're wide in bed. Just the other night, Orville looking for an early birthday present. They were lying in bed. Orville says, I'm going to make you the happiest woman in the world. She says, I'm sure going to miss you. <laughs> Orville says, you know, it's too hot today. He's out here the other day. It's too hot to wear clothes. He says, what do you suppose would happen? What would the neighbors think if I went out right now and mowed our lawn as a buff? He says, they'd probably figure I'd marry you for your money. Orville's <laughs> going, all right, no picking on me. But you know, the we, just, we should thank her, by the way, for not only all of her weekly help and so on, but also the, all these centerpieces that you guys see on your, on your tables, Jeannie made. Most of them, I believe, but not all of them. The centerpieces are really a really neat thing, and Jeannie has been responsible for that. Big round of applause for Jeannie. And since we're out of numbers, you're pretty much wrestling. Whoever, uh, whoever wins can take one of those home, so we're at your table, whatever the case. Here we get the guy walked into his uh, bedroom, had a sheep under his arm. He says, darling, this is the pig I've been seeing when you have a headache, my leg a bit, and I think you'll find that. He say, sheep? He said, I think you'll find that I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I had dropped in my head when I was really young. You know, I gotta give you credit for that one, though. I like that. All right, we got a lot of awards to give. We wanna, should we start doing some of these? I suppose we ought to.
second place to Joel Singleman. <laughs> and first place to Dub Songer.
is where it's at now. We're trying to get to 1,000. If you got any lottery tickets you want to trade them in, food stamps, credit card, you name it, we'll pay and we appreciate all your support and uh, during the past year the Lions do, so thank you all very much. Yeah, not only uh, do they appreciate our support, but we appreciate Bayer. These guys are out there every Saturday night walking through the crowd and get a big round of applause for the Lions Club. Yeah, Brad Lynch here from Chaos Florida. This guy's taking all those great pictures of all those cars out there all year. Got something else here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all the racers for not running me over when I'm running around out there. Uh, as usual, I had a great time. Uh, thanks for everybody who, who uh, threw some cash my way to help me keep doing this. Um, this is the picture I got to shoot for all the dirt also. I sent a lot of photos in. Uh, four covers had my photos on it, and it's because of your racers. So I had the covers printed and photographed. I want to give one free to every driver that was on the cover with one of my photos. Um, I'm going to do this again next year, so hopefully I'll be able to put more of my pictures on there. Uh, Jason Frischi, Sean Peterson, Derek Hansen, Derek Mayden, uh, David McDonald, and Dennis Lord, and Charlie Blumenberg. You guys come up, i got a free photo for you. Thank you, Andrew. And big round of applause for Brad Fletcher of Chaos Photos. A couple more uh, awards we're going to give away here in just a moment, and that's the uh, Perfect Attendance Award. And uh, before we do that, too, I want to uh, thank First Class Design has done a lot of work for us, and uh, not the least of which donated the check, which we give to one of our perfect attendance uh, drivers here just a little bit. Or we'll have to step out for a second as soon as he finishes and comes back, we'll uh, give that away. You know, it's been a fun year. And the reason it's been so fun and the reason I've been able to stay so retired all years because of this guy right here, and I think he did a hell of a job this summer. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. And I uh, really look forward to I, I enjoyed it. I didn't think I'd uh, be out doing that many of them, but uh, I got out and uh, watched about eight or ten races this year. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Put on a nice show. Okay, we've got one more award to give away. We're going to draw the name and we're going to secretly write it on here, and has been the tradition. And this is the driver who, from the car show on, took perfect attendance at this year's races. Presented by a Dirt Track Supply, Rod Anderson. And Dakota Promotions, it's a $2,000 chassis or parts. Ron, going to do You want somebody else to do it? How about that young fellow right there? Since 1999, past the, again, past, past the winners of this award, Marlon Winters, Joel Singleman, Lauren Johnson, Dave Broker, Greg Vavra, Ross Dixon, and Lynn Nelson. And here's your winner. It pains me to say this. Just let him turn around and show it. Here now is Ryan Beatty. Ryan Beatty. I actually just heard him say I'm buying all night.
Congratulations, Brian.
third of the month. It's a black ticket. For some reason, because it's black, I can't read the number, so I'm sorry. No, it's pink. Pink ticket. We're going to turn the ticket so I think it was a black. Now our scrambling to get it back. You got all your pink tickets ready? Okay, it's three, one, seven, eight, six, nine. Three, one, seven, eight, six, nine for 411 bucks. Amber, thanks for the rock. 